we have another student with us who is uh, going to share her secret uh, of success. Uh, Tanvi Modi, who got uh, 194. 194 in PCB. Uh, Tanvi, what was your aim? Uh, My for? aim for the CET was that I want to get into GS Medical College. Yes. So I kept name very high. I wrote 199 and stuck it up on my board, aiming for that. I got into GS and then now I took BG Medical College. Okay, so congratulations for uh, fulfilling your uh, dream. Uh, for how many hours you used to study every day? I hadn't fixed a number of hours. I set a target of the number of chapters, chapters. I want to finish. So how many hour hour it takes. Sometimes staying up an extra, I didn't stay up entire night or anything. Mm -hmm. Just one hour if it was taking to finish it, I will stay up one hour and do it. Uh, had you decided any t weekly target that in this week you are going to finish up two chapters or uh, like that? There was. It was a weekly target because daily finishing is not possible. Not possible. Because everyday schedules are different, colleges, their practicals, right. timings are different. So setting daily targets was not feasible. You never finish the target for you. So for a week or for two weeks, it, you know, it helped to achieve that target. Uh, had you studied 12th and uh, CET parallelly or? I would say parallelly because after finishing every one chapter, solve the MCQs and you understand the concepts after solving the MCQs. So then you mark the doubts and ask the teacher later. Yeah. And then you can always revise them or solve new MCQs later. Exactly. And uh, had you decided any number of MCQs on every chapter? No, but, but if uh, I was I was following one book, so if I am doing that chapter, I want to finish off that book within about two days. Two days per chapter, two or three days per chapter, I should have. Uh, you also uh, used uh, online education, uh, I think. In the beginning, in the okay. beginning of the year only, otherwise time started becoming less, so I didn't access the computer or anything that much. Uh, and uh, in the final preparation, uh, had you uh, took help uh, online. for uh, online education? No, I didn't. Only in the beginning of the year. Then uh, how many full portion tests do you solved? I must have given about 30 or more because our classes starting in July, we had month end tests, month end full portion tests or at least how many chapters are done by then. And moment the crash course started, we had alternate day 4-4 uh, four, four chapter tests uh -huh. and weekly full length tests. Full length tests. And even at home, whatever extra papers I had, I used to solve with the time practice. And if you get a difficulty in solving MCQs, how do you used to uh, solve that difficulty? I used to spend time because I didn't always want to go all the way to the teacher, keep calling up the teacher to ask. So I spent about 15 minutes on that. And if you're not getting it at that time, means you can take a break. And if you get time later, think over it later yeah. before asking the teacher. Otherwise, all my teachers were always available to ask doubts. And uh, uh, how much importance you gave to self-study? Means classroom teaching is equally important, no doubt, but... Self-study is extremely important. I would say as important as classroom right. teaching. Because unless you revise the classroom teaching, yeah. you won't understand what you've understood and what you've not understood. And doing that, it's like troubleshooting. You find where your doubts are, find where your problems are. And that you won't be able to do unless you put in your own effort. Yeah. So self-study was very important because that is it supplementary the, to the classroom teaching. Classroom teaching. And uh, what uh, extra efforts you did on increasing the speed of solving the uh, questions? To increase the speed, I kept reducing the time limit to solve a paper. Yeah. Like if I have, if I'm taking a physics paper with 50 MCQs. In the beginning of the year, I used to say that, okay, I have to finish this in one hour. One hour. Okay. Then I reduce the time to 50 minutes, 50 minutes, then 45 minutes. And then after a certain amount of practice, if it's an easy paper, you can do it in half an hour also. Uh, after uh, giving actual uh, CET exam, uh, was you confident about getting uh, 190 plus? I would say 185 plus I was confident because after the bio paper speci yeah. uh, especially, the moment I came out of the paper, I knew I had made one mistake. Later ah. in the evening, I, re I realized that I had made one more, mistake. one more mistake. So keeping a margin of about 5-5 five, five mistakes per paper, I had given my parents an idea that I will get 185 or above. Definitely. So what was your reaction when you got uh, 190 plus? I was very happy because in my head I had hoped for it and I had expected it but I didn't want to give people around me false hopes. So I told everyone 185 but in my mind I was secretly was, uh, praying for knowing, 190 plus. I, I knew that I should get 190. 
Okay. So uh, you have got admission in uh, BZ Medical BZ. College. After MBBS, what you are uh, going to do? Man? So uh, are uh, you uh, any uh, planning in your mind? No, I am not planning anything. Okay. I am waiting so, for exposure to all the subjects. Yeah. Before I decide. So you are not uh, prejudiced about any branch? No, not at okay. all. So uh, best of luck to uh, you for your future career from uh, the Indian side. And thank you for being with us. Thank you.